Okay, here's inside the shipping container. That's a two-ton split system, refrigerator, microwave, full-size convection stove, butcher block top, Had a little water leak underneath here and fixed it, drying it out, and some shelves. Bedroom is eight by 11. Ceiling fan, LED lighting. Oh, turn the lights on. That'd be helpful. And then here's the bathroom. Walk-in shower, walk-in toilet. I had to take the endless hot water tank out. It did not work properly. Didn't keep up. So I just ended up just pop the tank in there. Washer dryer hookup. I didn't cut a hole in, put a vent in there just yet until we actually put a dryer in here, but I've got the wiring set up. Or you can do another clothes rack there. Or just use it for storage or whatever. That's pretty much it. I'll do one up for the outside. Okay, here's the outside. Front porch. Got a RV hookup over there. So basically this is your front yard area here. We've got a 24 foot wide driveway. That way he can pull in and do a U-turn. Mobile home back here with a big porch on it. It's rented. So we're in about five acres. Nice and open. That's a creek back there. A septic right behind it. Actually, you can uh, park cars right here behind the container versus parking in the driveway or park up right next to it. So even though it's only a 40 foot high cube shipping container, we've got a eight foot deck out up front, or we do two, do a 10 foot. Um, so you've got about 450 square feet of decking out front as well. So you can put a table and a chair and stuff out here. And the deck wraps around. Comes in from this end. Of course, if it's really windy or cold, we can just close these doors. Oh, screw's catching this one. Okay. These doors are going to open or close. Nice and peaceful. There's a neighbor next door. Nice fence. Pretty quiet. We like it that way.